Now, I wanted to uh, actually uh, go over uh, a couple of projects and share my comments with you. And I want to start with, of course, our winner team, uh, Garden Genie. So uh, we have given this team uh, a product developer uh, title. Uh, because what I've seen was um, they completed the product development stage very well. They approached the problem with a scientific perspective, meaning that they start with observation and define the problem. Uh, and uh, after that, they come up with a hypothesis around the solution and they test their hypothesis and they collect data, results and conclude the project. After that, iteration comes to optimize the system and they were able to come up with a working prototype uh, and it has uh, been made and it works pretty well and the presentation the purpose uh, uh, they are all aligned with the um, with the um, um, targets of this special competition uh, I want to like conclude uh, my um, comments about Garden Genie uh, by mentioning their uh, actually uh, solution a bit more. Uh, so they made a significant impact on both uh, garden and the environment. Uh, they had a 50% increase in plant yield and 75% reduction in pest related damage. Uh, additionally, the system promotes sustainable practices by reducing water consumption by 40% and water is really valuable for us. We need to watch the amount of water we need to consume uh, and we need to decrease anywhere that it's possible. So I want to talk a bit about the hydropower team. Uh, so also we have uh, given them a product developer batch. They have followed the pro product development stage with a scientific perspective, as I mentioned, for the Garden Genie as well. And the project research and prototype development stage have been prepared in detail. And they have implemented the STEM approach in their project to provide clean water uh, in the event of disaster or uh, to provide clean water for irrigation purposes. Having the, such uh, STEM-based solutions to sustainability-related problems actually have one important uh, advantage. Since technology helps us to scale the solutions, we must um, become more literate. We must learn about technological tools and how to use them to solve a problem around us, to help animals, to decrease the pollution, to reduce plastic usage. And this team, Hydropower, focused on providing clean water in the event of disaster or for irrigation purposes. And they have a full working prototype, which uh, we then we decided to give the product developer badge to our lovely team, Hydropower. Thank you, Hydropower. Moving on. So, eco scientists. I really like the idea behind this project, and uh, that's why we have given this group a badge of innovative idea generator. Uh, what they did is they have developed a system used in uh, like um, public transportation. Uh, in metro buses or buses. So when you have a vehicle going too fast, it creates um, air movements, right? So when you start running, you can feel air flow on your body. And uh, this team actually focused on um, subways. And when subways uh, are passing from stations, you can feel the wind and you can actually catch that wind to produce electricity and this is a clean source of energy so they successfully improved an existing project and innovation is all about coming with a novel idea but at the same time uh, learning from the existing solutions and existing technologies and adding one different piece, one novel piece to come up with an innovation. 
So they are a very successful team in terms of uh, innovation and entrepreneurship. And thanks eco scientists for coming up with such a great project. Moving on to the next one, Team Nature. So when I've seen this project, I really liked it because uh, I love STEM solutions. And when there's a team working on a sustainability related problem, I like it even more. So this water purification system is a STEM based solution to a very important problem. Uh, they were able to come up with this prototype. Uh, they prepared it uh, in a very detailed way and they considered the all aspects uh, very accurately and they developed the system and uh, the system works with uh, wind power and it helps to uh, purify water uh, with low energy consumption again when there is an energy decrease in the consumption I like it really well so the shooting stars came up with an interesting project actually uh, and they have a working prototype I see they use the wind modules very accurately and uh, what this team uh, what this team did very well was related to problem solving and we have given them a problem solver a problem solver badge and the shooting star uh, in this lovely video they explain how the uh, system works but they solve the problem related to pollution by designing an autonomous robot capable of finding its own way capable of collecting trash and it is not enough by using the infrared technology they were able to separate recyclable and non-recyclable ones from one uh, uh, from each other and the use of infrared sensor is something that i really like because infrared technology um, is being used in many different places autonomous cars are using infrared technology and by uh, by using infrared technology you are able to actually measure the speed and the distance of stars so infrared will be a technology that will shape the future and we must find new ways to use it to help solve sustainability related problems because we know that we have a very uh, like hard challenge that we can only solve by working together and using the uh, impact of technology so we have our activists with us junior sustainability activists so they uh, also uh, like deserve uh, a, a couple of comments around creative idea generator they got use of biology chemistry um, uh, mechanical engineering and they have developed an extraordinary and creative idea for the solution of climate change when you combine different disciplines together different scientific uh, disciplines together you are able to come up with a more impactful project so whenever you are designing a uh, designing a project it is essential to understand where you will have the impact right so you have a solution and this solution will have an impact on plant life this solution will have an impact of um, uh, renewable energy generation so as you increase number of high areas that you have a positive impact your project becomes more holistic and this creative idea was uh, the creative idea generator batch was given to our junior sustainability activists because of this holistic approach thank you so moving on with the tech genie system so i really like their uh, problem so sometimes you need no not sometimes all the time you need to start why you need to start by finding a problem 
determining a problem and loving a problem. When you love your problem, you get to spend more time with it, right? For example, when you love a friend, you want to spend more time with them, right? And once you start spending more time with them, you start learning new things about them. So when you love a problem, you ask questions to problem, right? And you understand uh, uh, the problem uh, with its root causes, right? You are able to understand the root cause behind it. And this team, they really love their problem and succeeded in uh, analyzing and defining the problem they want to solve. So that's why we have given them the title of problem identifiers. So whenever you have a problem uh, that you love, then it becomes your passion and then you can use your knowledge and skills to solve it, to create a positive impact like our Tech Geniuses team did. So thank you, Tech Geniuses. And we have science lovers with us. Well, like I really like uh, the the uh, concept here. So uh, we we have given uh, the title of presentation experts for our science lovers team. Uh, the team has completed the presentation of their product in a creative and enjoyable way, and you can see storification there, right? And oh, we have one just came up uh, from under the uh, table and surprised us and she jumps into the story as well. So sometimes you can find a problem, you can come up with a solution, but you need to communicate it. And storification is very uh, important um, 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 skill. And we see that this team follows the uh, storification uh, methodology while explaining their uh, solution and that's why they earned the oh another one <laughs> so that's why they earned the president presentation experts batch uh, congratulations and they have brought their projects to life more vividly with the acting touches they added so science lovers we love you as well yes the next one Asimo team. I'm really curious about the story of how they got this name, but their name is inspiring and their project is inspiring. So we have given the badge of inspiring idea generator. And their project is about actually um, uh, tackling with um, uh, wildfires. And as, as you know, we have a problem called global warming and when you have global warming the systems in the world start to work differently so we have changes in climates so now we have summers with higher temperatures and that is a very big problem for every country's forest resources and as you might have heard in different parts of the world in canada in the united states in uh, europe uh, in asia we are hearing more uh, wildfire news right so this team came up with uh, an idea of using winds uh, to um, to tackle with wildfires and which i found very inspiring but you remember we have talked about infrared technology. So infrared technology is a very strange technology. When you put an infrared sensor to a drone and this drone starts flying over the forests, the infrared sensor is capable of scanning all the trees. And if there is a temperature increase, you can actually find those areas with high temperatures and you can even send signals to flying drones uh, with water tanks right or helicopters or planes to come 
and extinguish not extinguish actually because there's no fire yet you only realize that there is a slight change in the temperature there is an increase in the temperature there's a risk of fire so before even it starts you can jump in and prevent these fires from happening so inspiring idea generator uh, got this badge with their idea and i wanted to mention that infrared sensors are really nice tools to solve that problem as well so our team now is the eco team and i want to give the problem identifiers badge to this team as well the team has succeeded in truly analyzing and defining the problem they want to solve and it is very needed as they as you understood the problem understand the problem i am sure that your solution will be more impactful and once you have a nice problem then you have you can continue to work on the solution part and make it more impactful thank you eco team and uh, congratulations to you too for your problem identifier badge our last project is coming from cleaner park heroes perfect project to clean the parks we are enjoying and we want to give the badge of stem tinker to cleaner park heroes as this team has produced a solution to a problem with a stem perspective and the stem perspective has been successfully applied in the design processes of the product so i congratulate you of the cleaner park heroes for your uh, efforts on developing this special projects so that was all uh, of my comments Botohan. thank you for giving me the chance to share my insights and comments with all our participants i really like the uh, projects coming from uh, schools for our first virtual sustainability competition and i'm looking forward to have new ones as we uh, open the next one thank you again for being part of this journey and congratulations to all of you for your incredible efforts